Make it sing it, draw it, say it. This is how dog zombies play it. Do your most a furry creature, draw a picture of my teacher. I like wafers, they're the best. Marcus Mel Drew's not impressed. Granny's custard's very lumpy. Delia is always grumpy. I'm Tom Nitz. show, draw your own Tom Gates comic, make an awesome pencil holder, and my doodles get me in trouble at parents' evening. Welcome to my brilliant show. Good news! School was closed for the whole day because the teachers all had a big meeting. Bad news. Mrs Worthington gave us all homework to do. Good news, we've all been given our very own sketchbooks, so we can draw things from real life. I drew my sister Delia, looking happy, sad and cross. I drew my dad eating biscuits from his secret biscuit tin. Here's my picture of Derek's dog, Rooster, lying on my mum's jumper. I added Dad's hat and Delia's sunglasses. It looks better, don't you think? Rooster loved Delia's sunglasses. A bit too much. Every good doodler needs a place to keep their pencils. And there's nothing better than a Tom Gates pencil holder. It's time to make it! Let's make our own pencil holder. You will need some coloured cardboard, a cardboard tube, a plate, a ruler, some scissors... Be careful with scissors! ..sticky tape, PV glue and a pencil and pen. And a glue stick? Sorry, we don't need a glue stick. Oh, all right. Got all that? Let's get making. Take your cardboard, grab your plate and draw around it to make a circle. Then cut out the circle. Use your cardboard tube to draw a smaller circle in the middle of the big one. Then, with the ruler, draw two lines at the bottom the top of the small circle like this. Then fold up the bottom and the top like this to create the sides of the pencil holder. Then flatten the shape back out and flip it over. Now it's time to decorate the sides with your pen. Draw whatever you like or add your name. the base of the pencil holder. Take your cardboard tube and cut it into three smaller tubes of different sizes, like this. Now you can colour them in with paint. Add a blob of glue to the front and back of each tube and sit them inside the circle. Fold the sides up to meet the glue and hold it all together with sticky tape. Leave the tape on until the glue dries and everything is stuck together. When the glue is dry, carefully remove the tape. And you have your pencil holder. You can fill it with all your pens and pencils. And a glue stick. And even your glue sticks. Awesome. Mrs. Worthington loves my sketchbook. Bad news, Mr. Fullerman said. No, oh, this is really fantastic, Tom. <laughs> A budding young artist. This will be great to show at parents' evening. <laughs> now, whilst I worry about my family seeing this picture, there's just enough time to draw it. <laughs> Right now, I'm going to show you how to do a very short comic story. 
Wow, now I am excited. What I'm going to do first, you need to work out what the story is going to be. So I've taken a pencil and you can see I've done some sketches and I've just worked out a very simple story. So it involves Tom, Mr Fullerman and some doodling. And you can see I've just kind of like roughed it out very quickly just to get an idea of what picture goes in each box. You might need to do it a few times, but it doesn't matter. So I'm just putting this to one side. Next thing I'm going to do is fold my paper in half. This is an A3 size piece of paper. You can do it on a smaller piece of paper if you want. It just gives me the middle. This is a bit where I'm cheating. So what I'm going to do is take my pencil and just rough out where the boxes are that I'm going to fill in for my story. Now I'm going to start my story. So it involves Tom doodling, of course. The story here is Tom's in class and he's doodling. Amazing! And we need to see what Tom's drawing. Hands are really tricky to draw. See, so I'm looking at my hand as I'm drawing that one. Mr. Fullerman with a difference. So my story goes across and then down. Marcus is there. Say, here's the follow man. Marcus is desperate, he's going, sir, Tom's drawing a funny picture. So I've just put little lines there so you can kind of tell he's saying something. So what I wanted to do was to show the picture of Tom's drawing that he's actually done. And then, this is what Tom does. Before Mr. Fullerman comes to see his drawing, he quickly turns it into something else. Quick thinking on Tom's part. So, Mr. Fullerman comes over and sees that Tom's just drawn a vase of flowers. Wow, that's cool. So now I'm going to take a slightly thicker pen. I'm just going to use this pen and just darken up some of the areas. Colour in his hair. Let's add a little bit of shading. Just some shadows. So I'm just going to be very bold and use a nice thick pen. So let's have a look. So we've got Tom doodling, picture of Mr. Fullerman. Marcus goes, sir, sir. <laughs> Tom's doodling a picture of you. Mr. Fullerman goes, what's going on? And quickly we see what Tom's actually drawn. And then quickly he changes it into something completely different. So Tom's out of trouble. Love it. So there you are, all done. A short comic story just using pictures. Welcome to my British show. So, there was good news. Mrs. Worthington liked my sketchbook homework. And bad news, Mr. Fullerman is about to show it to my mum and dad at parents' evening. Hello, Mr. Fullerman. Hello, Mr. Fullerman. Good evening, Mr. and Mrs. Gates. Very lovely to see you again under uh, different circumstances this time. <laughs> mm. Mm. Now, everybody loves Tom's sketches. Oh, I'd love to see your sketches, Tom. <laughs> Especially this 
Lovely composition. Oh, look, some of your drawings, Tom. That's my hat. Oh. That's my jumper. I see. Is it your dog? Mm. No. That's the neighbour's dog. Oh. Dad also saw my drawing of him eating his secret stash of biscuits. Oh no, my biscuits. There's nothing sacred. And now he's going to hide them somewhere else. At least Delia didn't see any of my drawings. Especially this one. Parents' evening isn't any fun, but this is. It's time to play it! OK. Here's two pictures of Rooster chewing a pair of Delia's sunglasses. The drawing on the right has a few extra bits added. Spot the difference. See how many you can find. Your time starts now! Time's nearly up. Here's the answers. Rooster's big eyes. There's a feather in Dad's hat. And Rooster is chewing Delia's sunglasses on the other side. How many did you spot? And don't worry about Delia. She's got loads of pairs of sunglasses. She won't mind. Huh. Huh. Brilliant show. Find out what's in the doodle box. Take to the skies with a Tom Gates kite. And I go hiking for some tasty snacks. Welcome to my brilliant show. Hi. I've got big plans today. Big plans to watch TV and do nothing else. Tom, how do you fancy going out for a nice long walk? I'm a bit busy. Oh. Come on, Tom, it'd be good to get some fresh air. My mum and dad are obsessed with fresh air. I just don't see why we have to go so far to get it. Pretty sure there's some fresh air in the garden. Come on, Tom, it'll be fun. Uncle Kevin said he could pick you up on the way. Uncle Kevin? That means the cousins will be going. And they always have excellent snacks. I'll go. Oh, I'm glad he's keen to get a bit of fresh air. Hmm, I think he's keen on getting some fresh snacks. If you ever find yourself getting a little too much fresh air, then you might need a Tom Gates kite. It's time to make it. Let's make a Tom Gates kite. You will need a piece of coloured paper, two sticks of different lengths, a ruler, a pen, some sticky tape and some string. And a glue stick? Sorry, we don't need a glue stick. Oh, all right. Awkward. Got all that. Let's get making. Take your sticks and lay them across one another like this. And snip off a length of string. Be careful with scissors. And tie the sticks together in the middle like this. Lay your piece of paper under the sticks and cut diagonally from edge to edge like this. Then at each point, fold the excess paper over like this. Then fold the rest of the paper over like this. Now stick it all together with your tape. Take another piece of string and tie it round the shorter stick like this. Then tie a really long piece of string to that. Turn your kite over and draw on any design you like. I'm going to doodle some bugs and monsters. You can add strips of coloured paper to your string to create some ribbons. Awesome! And there you have your very own Tom Gates kite. You can use any colours or designs you like. All you need now is some wind. And off we go! Ooh. Welcome to the Tom, don't you want to eat something before you go? 
You'll need plenty of energy for your walk. No thanks, Mum. I'm not hungry. Hmm. <laughs> Actually, I want to leave as much room as possible for the amazing snacks my cousins will have. <laughs> Enjoy the fresh air, Tom. What? Oh, yeah. Fresh air. Can't wait. Draw it! It's Liz. She writes and draws all the Tom Gates books. Now let's see what's in the box. I love this bit. And drum roll. It's a welly. <laughs> OK. Let's see what we can do with this. Got the welly boot. Always get adult permission before you draw on anything, especially a welly boot. Next, I'm going to use a permanent marker. And again, watch your fingers. So looking at this welly boot, you can see this one happens to have a bit of a pattern on it already, like it's got a circle. You can draw on any welly boot. It doesn't have to be this pattern, but I'm going to use this pattern as part of my design. I think I'll draw an eye, because it looks like an eye already. And I'm going to press my pen and go right into the, into the groove there. It's very handy having this. Do the same on the outside. Looking at the top, I think I might draw some teeth. Love it! It's almost like a mouth already, so I'm going to draw a line like that. And then draw some sharp teeth. The teeth get bigger as you go along. doing is I'm leaving the teeth green and I'm colouring in the space behind it so the teeth stand out. Do the other eye. I mean, crocodiles don't really have eyes like this. I'm just making it up. That looks good to me. Now, I'm just going to add some little snout nostrils. wellies. These are going to look great. <laughs> Nearly done. Let's do the top. Might be an idea, if you're worried about drawing straight on the welly, you can always do a little sketch and work out exactly what you're going to do before you do go onto the welly, before you do your drawing. There you go. That's my doodled on welly. Ah, oh, thanks Liz, that was great. Welcome to the Show. I'm off for snacks. 
Um, I mean fresh air. With my auntie, uncle and cousins. Ready for some good old fresh air, Tom? And a snack. Just to remind them why I'm really here. OK, Tom. We'll have a snack when we get there. Sorry. I'm just excited about the snacks. Well, we're just excited to have you here with us. They don't look excited. <sighs> Probably don't want to share the snacks. Right before we set off, uh, who's ready for a snack? Me! In case they didn't know already. Here we go, boys. Chocolate raisins. My favourite. No, Tom. Granny Mavis made us some healthy snacks to bring with us on our walk. Chocolate-covered peas are surprisingly delicious, aren't they, Tom? Chocolate-covered peas? Ugh. I think I'd prefer some fresh air. <laughs> Welcome to my brilliant show! In this brilliant show, play the doodle game with me and my best friend Derek, Check out my top five embarrassing moments and sing along to a song about a pesky cat. Welcome to my British show. Hi, I'm Tom Gates, and this is my best friend, Derek. Hello. We go to the same school, but we're not in the same class. But that's OK, because Derek plays keyboard in my band. Dog zombies. <laughs> We're pretty close. I mean, literally. Look. We like to play games and try and make each other laugh. Mostly when we should be in bed. There's Derek now. <laughs> See what I mean? Yeah, he's really good at that walking down the stairs thing. And we have a great doodle game. Let's play it! OK, Derek tries to guess what I'm drawing before I finished. See if you can guess what it is, too. Have you guessed who it is yet? Here's a clue. He's in my class and he's pretty grumpy. I know what this is. Um, it's Marcus Meldrew. Marcus Meldrew? That's right. That was a bit easy with the grumpy face. Let's do another one. You'll never get this. Neither will Derek. Um, uh, that, um... Yep, it's a chip on a fork. It's a chip on a fork! It's a chip on a fork! I think he said chip on a fork. It's hard to tell. We can't really hear each other. See you tomorrow! I've got blue socks on! Nope. No idea. Time for bed. <laughs> Textbooks to page one or two. <sighs> Normally, Mr. Fullerman has to be talking a bit longer than this to send me to sleep. But I'm just so tired today. Thanks for that pesky singing cat. Psst. Wake up, Tom. Psst, Tom, wake up. <sighs> sir, sir, Tom's asleep and dribbling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
So embarrassing. Amy has seen me drooling. This could easily make its way into my most embarrassing moments. Here's the current top five. At number five, smiling at Amy with food in my teeth. At four, doing an impression of Mr Fullerman and being caught by Mr Fullerman. It was a pretty good impression, unfortunately. At three, that time I had ink bobs on my face all day and nobody told me. I should have realised. At number two, that time my mum brought my PE kit in and it was announced to the entire school by Mrs Mumble. Will Tom Gates come to the office? His mum is here with his short for PE. And at number one, accidentally calling Mrs Worthington mum in front of the whole class. Mum, I mean Mrs Worthington, Thanks to that pesky cat, I'm pretty sure falling asleep in class will be going straight in at the top. No, class. Are you ready for something fun? Don't get too excited. Mr Fullerman thinks homework is fun. It's time for Make It. I take it back. Brilliant. Make It. This is how to make your very own pesky cat. You will need some air drying clay, some toothpicks. Be careful with toothpicks. And a pen. And a glue stick. Sorry. Maybe next time. All right. There we go. That's everything you need. Got all of that yet? Great. Take your clay, cut it in half. Take a small piece off one side and save it for later. Use your hands to roll each side into a ball. Use the smaller ball to make a head. Pinch the clay between your fingers to make the ears. Pinch off a small piece of clay to make the nose. Grab a toothpick. Be careful with toothpicks. And draw a mouth. Bring back the other ball. Yep, that's the body. Remember the clay you saved for later? Roll it up and you've got a tail. OK, now it's time to let your cat drop. Check the clay instructions to see how long it needs. Usually overnight or a few hours. Right, take your pen, colour in the nose, draw a little line to his mouth, two eyes, eyebrows, ears and of course, some whiskers. Awesome, I love it. And if your cat is feeling lonely, you can always make some cat friends. Or even try a clay monster. <laughs> from school, did not do my homework, ate fish fingers, some of Dad's biscuits and went to my room. Oh no, that pesky cat is back for another poor performance. <coughs> That's Derek's dog, Rooster. What a champ. Good boy, Rooster. Good boy. If you like Rooster, then you're going to love this. Hi, I'm Liz, and I write and draw the Tom Gates books. And today I'm going to show you how to draw Rooster. Now, Rooster is Derek's dog, and Derek is Tom's best mate. First of all, take your pen, let's draw a circle. His ears look a bit like clouds. I'm not entirely sure what kind of dog Rooster actually is. I just sort of made him up. Wow, that's cool. Now I'm going to draw a cat. So again, you start off with a circle, two ears. Let's draw his tail. Now I'm going to draw the cat's eyes. The cat's got really big eyes. He's like looking at Rooster. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to draw the inside of his eyes, the dot, and they're going to be looking at Rooster. I'm going to swap. I'm going to use pencil and I'm going to add some shadows underneath. That. 
And then I'm going to draw some movement lines. Great stuff. So it looks a bit like Rooster's really chasing the cat then. Yeah, I think that's finished now. So there you have it. There's Rooster and the cat. <laughs> That pesky cat is back again. I think it's time for Sing It. I'm as quiet as a mouse and make my home in someone else's house. I'm not fussy, any place will do. If it's warm, I like a place with food. You won't hear me taking a stroll. Straight through the flowers, jump on a wall. Over the grass, hey, I don't care. I'm awake in the dark. Get some sleep. That singing cat has finally moved on. <coughs> to the tree in Derek's garden. <coughs> <coughs>